Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of the TMS UX series, where together we discover new localization tools. I do the hard work and you just get to sit down and watch me suffer. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to have a first look at WordBee. If you are new to the series, what I basically do is I roll a dice, which tells me which TMS to try out next. Then I go visit the homepage, I look at what the company is telling us that the TMS can do, how it looks like, how convincing it is, what are the colors, what is the style, what are the basic fundamental design flaws of it. And then I compare this marketing thing with the actual experience. So I register for an account, I try to create a project, I upload my two simple files, one Word document, one spreadsheet, then I try to have it translated using the online editor. And finally, I download the translated files. So this is what I'm doing for every TMS. And along the way, you get to listen to my commentary on the design, on the style, on the UI. Most importantly, my experience. You know, I'm trying this for the very first time. Is the TMS intuitive? Uh, is it telling me? Is it navigating me? Is it easy for me to do what I want to do? Yes or no? So that's what the series is about. And in this one, as I already mentioned, we picked WordBee and that's what we're going to try out. Now, before we finally get to the review, let me make a quick disclaimer that I always try to do everything that I say here in this video is just my personal opinion, how I feel about the style, the design, the UI and so on. It's all based on my personal experience and my personal preference, what I think is nice and intuitive and what is not. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm saying WordBee is good for you or not good for you. I don't cover all the features that the TMS has. I'm just focusing purely on the very basic things, translating a simple Word document and spreadsheet in the easiest possible way and how intuitive it is to do it with a new TMS. So with that being said, let's finally go to see how my experience was with WordBee. FYI, I have never tried. I heard a lot about them because I think they have a podcast. And I have never seen the website, never tried anything from them. And I think I believe they should be free. They should have a free trial. Free trial, yes. Wait, what? This is the website? Okay. Here we are on the website. <laughs> so, the, because the cookies always... <laughs> unleash on me. I might as well comment quickly. So we see orange, which we do see here as well, with the bees and the blue one. Yes, there is some blue one. But these colors are not in the logo, which is, I guess we'll find out. I see this one is a blue one. I'm not sure how the colors are set for word B yet. So I just accept this and let's see what happens. Now available. So this is the first one that this reminds me of what was it? I think it was translate five. They had this text here. They did have some images, some word images. And these guys go immediately into who is it for? So they don't have any big hero image, which we've seen on pretty much most of the websites. So the hierarchy, it is clear, like this is the first thing, comprehensive translation management, but then the rest is more or less the same. I don't know, maybe it's just that I'm used so much to having some nice hero section here with clear uh, value proposition and then some call to action. Here actually you don't even see any clear call to action. That's the thing. We see this one here, the free trial, uh, which by the way, it's very weird hover. It just changes the color of the text. It doesn't change the border around it. I would rather see this fill out like with blue and then turn into white text. Uh, but this is weird. And even here, the only links that we see are these ones. I like this effect. 
but again it's kind of like inconsistent you can see here the the text and arrow is green and when i hover i think the arrow is still green right am i tripping just the text changed to blue i don't know why they do it even here it's weird to me, it looks weird. Like this button, when I hover on it and I stay, it looks weird because it has a grayish background, blue text, and green arrow. Meh. Don't like it. I think the, the hierarchy could definitely be better. This, to me, even though it's like the main heading, is it H1? Should be H1. It is H1. It seems super tiny to me. Okay, this is... This looks better the only problem is the um, the line height anyway I'll put it back to how it was before so yeah I don't I don't like this comprehensive translation management manage every aspect of translation benefit from blah 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 yeah that's fine the problem is that I think that's see this is like how I'm discovering actually why people use the 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 big hero images with just the unique value proposition and then some call to action button these elements are missing here and the thing is that <coughs> uh this subhead has like the same size as these things which is who is it for and like i already mentioned before wait what am i what am i trying to say Yeah, like the, 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 the hierarchy here is just not good. And call to action, again, is like not clear. Like nothing here stands out. The only thing that stands out is the is the images. Which are cute, that's for sure. But is this the right place to put these things? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. So to me, the biggest thing here, again, I'll just repeat myself, is the hierarchy could be way improved and there's no clear call to action. That's it. Let's start with that. Where to be buzzing outside the box. I'm not sure if it's just me, if I'm getting old, but the, I don't know if it's tagline or how do you call it, buzzing outside the box, the text is not that readable. Maybe it's on purpose. I don't know. Features... I won't get into it. Looks like a standard menu. This one has images. The rest of the menu doesn't have images. Not sure why. If you remember, I think Phrase had such a nice menu and I think it had icons in every part of the menu. And we have here thing. I already mentioned about these hovers. I don't like the hovers at all. I think they're super weird. Anyway, let's move down, finally from here. So here we have a big gap, industries reserve, that I assume is consistent with these images. Life sciences, games, yeah, it is. Industries we serve. Again, the hierarchy, like these headings are not that different. I mean, yes, they are different, but not that hugely different <laughs> from the from the one size 26 40 yeah this already looks better but yeah you know, the hierarchy is not good even here like look at this thing this to me is again another problem like this thing like what is the industry and then the text below it's almost the same is it actually the same I don't think it is, but can I view it? Special workflow, what is the size? Dude, what is the size? Okay, let's see it. Does it sit on the div? I don't see it. Do you see it? Some things are crossed out. H4 is what? H4 is 18, and I think the one below is 16. Yeah, 
so it's just two pixels bigger. Yeah. Again, the hierarchy, the same thing as, as before. It just doesn't stand out. The images, the icons, I think they look nice. Maybe to me they're too skinny with a lot of detail. So, yeah. Did we get the colors actually? So in the logo we see green and then black. Here we have blue. We saw blue in that thing, in the cookies. What is here? Here we have some blue. Here we have more blue, okay. Okay, I guess blue is part of it, okay. So that's that. Then here we have uh, some sort of a shadow, which separates the sections. What is this thing? Champion. Olympic translation management. 10 years of training. What? Oh, I thought I could click on it. <laughs> See, that's the thing with the blue text. I feel like you want to click it. Olympic translation management. I don't get it. Is it supposed to be a joke? Supercharge your system with our translation management. Improve quality, better time to market, save money, cut costs, blah, 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 blah. Give your team. Oh, I think yes. It's supposed to be funny, I guess. Every challenge is different. Special workflows for different types of localization, of course. Localization work worlds. I like this image. This might be on purpose, but again, a tiny thing that I've noticed is to draw it. Here you can see that the image is above the section. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like the benefits. And here we have the picture below. Hmm. I'm thinking. Free trial. Start your 15 day free trial. Oh, 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 what is this? I mean, okay. Talk to one of our localization. What? I didn't say anything. Go away. See, again, I don't know why this is. Why? Wait, are you serious? Oh my god. I just click here and I get a pop up. Are you fucking serious? Holy shit. Why? Why do you put a button if everything activates a pop up? Does it do the same thing? It does. So clicking on the button or clicking somewhere in the content opens the button. That's so weird. And what I wanted to point out before I get that is you can see that the consultants is move to the next line. I have no idea why. To our localization consultants, it's probably because it's the width is set that way. Weird. Okay. I don't like I don't like the hovers. I don't like this thing. Like if I want to just click here, why does it open a pop-up? That's weird. Manage. Okay, I guess we continue listing these benefits. I don't know, it feels weird. Here it says just champion, like if we focus on the blue text. Champion, every challenge is different. Manage. Weird. And again, I think you can see, let's, let's observe the gap between these things. So I think here, and here, I think it's, I don't know if I'm tripping, but I think like it's still different. It's either different, slightly different or almost the same. But when we go here, here you can see the gap is way bigger. Again, not sure why it's inconsistent. See features. I think this time the arrow is blue. It turns blue. And there's like a slight delay. Unless I'm just very tired. It's all green now. 
And when I hover... I feel like there's some delay with the arrow. Like it doesn't change immediately. Was I tripping here? It's still green, right? I think it's green. Oh. Okay, what do we have here? Automation. Real-time collaboration. Leverage your assets, integrate content sources. Is that supposed to be part of this thing? Again, the, the hierarchy is confusing. Real-time collaboration, leverage your assets. I don't know. Is this... Are these the benefits for the cut translation management time in half? I just don't know. And they like to use these shadows to separate the sections. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Also, again, I might be tripping, but like, for example, this shadow here looks different to me than this one. This one looks thicker. This one looks the same way as the second one. Not sure. The business tag, never stop improving. Again. <laughs> now the space is the same as here, I think. The bigger space. Use business intelligence, blah, blah, blah. Localization metrics and KPIs. Here we have another image. Okay, translate. Translators love to work in our online translation editor. Well, we'll see about that. My first glance at this is... It doesn't look that nice. Comfort collaboration communities, communications, blah, 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 blah. Client portal. More? How many are you going to list? Client portal. I'm actually getting tired. <laughs> Again, like this. I don't know why the line height here is so huge. Like here, you can see that the spacing here between these two things and here. It's here. It's like almost the same. Super weird. Boch. Integrate. Get it together with B box integrations. Okay. Choose your next step. Okay, finally we'll come to the end. Okay, so I guess green and blue are the main colors. Start a free trial. Attend the webinar. No, I don't want that. Get started. What is this hover? Why is it again different? And why, wait, why has the free trial changed? Okay. So when I scroll down, it looks like this. I mean, this button looks better than it looks here. Because the full button has definitely more attention and contrast than the ghost button. Okay, let's go down get started like this like why is there another different type of hover like it changes the 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 radius on the corners and that's it nothing else changes that's weird same here Ugh. okay are we at the bottom here we are okay so at the footer i mean okay ish i mean okay it's just like a bunch of links Um, yeah, so I think I was expecting, well, I, I don't know, just maybe from the, from the, from the social media posts that I've seen, maybe I was expecting more, I don't know. I thought that word B would be something cool, like PO editor or phrase, but the website doesn't give me much hope for the, for the UI. There are a lot of issues here. Which, um, I would say that those are issues. It's not like a personal thing. The hierarchy is wrong. The buttons are in inconsistent. No clear call to action. I don't know. And, and, and listing these things, it's like... It's weird. I don't know. It's just weird. For example, also this one. 
like the style here is the same like they have this thing here the blue one then they have the main heading like like this one is different than this one why it's so weird anyway let's get to the trialing brothers and sisters and everyone else register for a free trial is a powerful system with many options Okay, sometimes I forget once we start going into the UI, I forget to comment on the on the design. Just for a free trial. First name, okay. Company LA. Oh. Country. Canada. Blame Canada. Answer your needs. What kind of business are you? I am Otter. What? What is this thing? Why does it just suddenly appeared? What does it have to do with the question? That's so fucking weird. Why? And of course, the font here is different than the one in the drop down. Man, what is this thing? What? What if I don't select it? I don't even know what it is right now. Where to be translation management? Isn't that what I'm signing up for? I have read. I consent to where to be using my. No, I don't want to consent to that. Do I need to? Okay, I click this. It doesn't... Okay. Okay. You'll receive your trial information post haste. In the meantime, coming webinars. I don't want to look at your webinars. Okay, this is a new thing that we have here. New color we haven't seen before. Again, the same... I not impressed. We finally got the email from the Word B, and we are recording. Do you know the Word B trial is ready? What is this thing? What is this thing? Oh my gosh. It looks like feels I need to enter something. What? Dude. Dude. What the hell? Why am I getting sent to EU? I don't get it. Okay, user ID. Mother Russia in my gap in a gas Okay, uh, what is this thing? Like, yes, I assume this is to log in, but it's so weird, dude. Hmm. I fucking failed? What? Oh, account ID. Why is account ID different than user ID? No idea. Let's go, boys. New password, thank god. Damn. Weak. Yes, can I keep my weak password? Nope. No letter characters. Medium. Very good. Yes, he's good. Your password has expired? Please choose a new one. I just set the new password. It says right below. Password changed successfully. What the hell? Why do I need to... Login. I just set my password. What the hell? Oh my god, no! Oh, it looks so bad. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So where do I start? First of all, I mean, what is this image? 
let's be open-minded to new things. <laughs> this looks like a like a hero image or something. Is it necessary in the UI? I don't know. But let's say it's not that bad. Help my account log out. Teeny tiny text. As always, home orders, projects, jobs. The, the, the reason why I don't like this UI, and I don't know if I can name it, is like it has these boxes here and even the buttons, how this looks like, is like very old school. And the borders around this. It's green, it looks like, I don't know. I don't know how I would compare this. It reminds me maybe of Redmine. That kind of like old school UI. Ugh. Can I actually close those things? Remember dashboard changes, yes. Okay, it removed. You had to refresh the page. So I guess no Ajax. Recent projects. What? Where did these projects come from? Client LA. Is it like a test? Wait, what? Recent jobs. Recent orders. Am I supposed to be seeing this? Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, do I actually have projects? Who put these projects here? Oh my god, I hate the UI. I don't know how to explain it, but oh Jesus. Oh yeah, even these buttons, the way it's loading, the tabs. Oh shit. What have I done? But why are these projects even created here? What the fuck? Why do the menus have to load first? I don't get it. The dashboard looks very, very old school. My gosh. Okay, what else would I comment on? I don't even want to go to the details. I don't know how to... I would have to put next to it like PO editor or phrase. So that they show how the how these containers should be done better. Ugh. But I don't get it. Why are there projects and jobs? I haven't done anything. I just created this thing. I don't get it. Okay, let's just focus on what we have to do. Okay, projects. Oh my god, these colors. Yikes. 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 Okay, projects. You have tabs here. Planning. Whoa. What? What happened to the other tab? See, there are three tabs here. Find projects, planning, analytics. I click planning. And then the tabs just change. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's not how tabs behave. What the fuck? Oh my god, please. Okay, I'm not going... Uh, teeny tiny text. Ooh. New project. What? Choose type of new project. Oh my god, this tooltip. Jesus. Choose type of new project. Create standard project. Code it. Okay, standard. Whatever. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try to be optimistic and let's reset, reset. Project status in progress. Ugh. It's so difficult because even this drop down looks horrible. Okay, in progress, manager, receive deadline. Let's say we want it next Friday. Client LA, sure, reference. Automatically are, are typed here. Whatever. Price list. Uh, I don't want to bother with price list. Document formats. What? Where do I get to name the project? Hello? 
instructions. What? Source language. What? Oh my, what? Oh my God. Is this how you add? What is this user interface? Oh my goodness. Even this thing here doesn't have the border at the bottom. Holy shit. Can I just, oh my God, I have to select and I have to press add. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, why, why, why? J Wait, what? Japanese, hello? <laughs> yeah, if I start typing, it types afterwards. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it sucks it on the top. Oh my god. Wow. Domains. Do I have to select it? I don't care about that. Can I go to the next one? Save and continue. Documents. Okay. I wonder if I can actually drag and drop. I would be surprised. Nope. Can I drag and drop? Of course. Oh, I have to select the option to drag and drop files. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> okay, it's there. Good. This whole thing, this ho looks like, I don't know, like Windows, like old Windows. Ugh. Ugh, the icons. Ugh. Translate yes or no? <laughs> do I have to do it or no? Mark for online translation. Translate document. Yes, online. What are these things here? Oh, it's to set everything. <laughs> Text extraction rules. What? Default, default, yes. I don't think there will be empty here. Okay, translation online, yes. What do I do next? Resources, can I go there? Non-edit. Word count. <laughs> count words. Like this whole UI, like these things. Which TMS was it before? Was it Translate 5? That had these kind of things. I don't know how to describe this, but it looks so old. I want to calculate word count. Okay, it looks like... I don't know, did you get it right? Probably, I don't care. Jobs. Do I have to make a new job? Did I even name my project? I don't think I got a chance to name my project. Task translation. Yes. English. Select multiple languages. Oh my god, this UI. Documents. Okay. Can now assign the suppliers. Can I assign to myself? There I am. For some reason, I charge eight cents per word. I don't know how they created it, but I guess that's part of it. Select. Select. Calculate. Cause I don't want to even bother with this. Please check options and confirm. Confirm assignments, yes. Okay. Now, what is happening now? Oh, it uses the reference. 
as the name of the project. Are you serious? Dude, what the hell? What the hell? Wait, where is the reference? Here. Oh. That's so bad. So bad. Work and delivery. Oh, machine transition. Actually, maybe, maybe something will happen. Germany. Translate. Oh, is this the online editor? Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, the editor looks better. <laughs> the editor looks more modern than this whole thing. Germany. If this says Germany here, why does this say Czech? That's weird. <laughs> Empty. Okay, maybe... I don't know what... What can I do? Transition draft. Can a machine translate? Yes. Translate to document by machine. Hmm? Manage systems. Ooh, nice. Limited. Select. Select. Free use from the translation editor. No batch translations, okay. Oh, API key. Got it. Uh, save. Okay. So now if I go back to the work, do I get my MT? I don't. Do I need to set something somewhere? Germany? What is this thing? Why does it keep adding? It's a search. Darkest dungeon. No translation found. How do I do it? I mean, like, the, you, the, the editor looks slightly modern based on everything, but as a whole, it just looks weird and confusing. How do I get that empty? Hmm. Hmm. Question mark. Download configuration. What? Free to use from the translation editor. Yes, please. Based on this, it looks like it should work, but it doesn't. Oh, machine translating? No, 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 I don't want... Pseudo translation. No. Gosh. Huh. Bad. Empty system pseudo translation. Yep. No. No. How do I revert it back? That's it. Word B machine translation. Make machine translation as part of your X system. No. Oh. 
please, I want this to finish. What is a machine translation? First off, usually you will need valid, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I see here. What I see here is... Is there no... Is there no setting or how do I... How do I get the MT here? I don't know. I think I might just copy paste it. I don't care. You see. Um, okay. Everything's done. Let's do the batch thing. Change status to success. Why? Yeah, very good. Okay, now we wanna submit as deliverable. Doesn't work. Hello? Okay, create from file, create file, finalize, yes, and that's it. I think we should be done with this. I still don't know where to set the job it's done. Maybe it's here. I don't know, let's go back here. Let's refresh. Status, it's still showing unfinished job. God damn it. Why? But why? But why are you doing this? Check button. Okay, what? Apply. <laughs> okay. How? How do I mark it as complete? Why doesn't show up here? That's weird. Oh, code it jobs, right? Yeah. Truck is dungeon, that's me. German draft. Job reference. It didn't even update this thing. Maybe it's when I created it. Germany. Oh, project darkest dungeon. What do you mean not start it? Dude. Okay, now it merged everything into one. That's nice, but... What do I do now? Oh, job status, there we go. Change status. Oh my god, what is this menu? Why is it so ugly? Everything is so ugly. Please run QA, are you serious? 
Transition completed. Did it change? It should change, right? Yes. Translation now they check for errors. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> Let's say that we have the transition finished. The statuses are not probably fine. The whole UI again looks so old and bad. It's just Jesus Christ. Download documents. Do I finalize them first? Up to date and do not need to be rebuilt. Print source text. Why would I print something? Okay, let's see. Download. Dude. So, 15, word B, translate it, yeah, at least the language code is there, about, looks nice, looks good, check the spreadsheet, I already have one open, so let me get rid of that, and yes, it's good. Alright, so we made it with Word B, but the whole user interface, it's just like I said. If the homepage doesn't look that well, near modern standard, then usually the rest is, the UI is usually worse. And this is a great example of that, unfortunately. The whole UI looks just, I don't know. I don't even know how to call it. I think I was trying to figure out how to call this before, but I failed. But this this type of UI is just super old. Super, super old. So I'm just super happy that I'm done with this. How long did it take? More than one hour. Oh my gosh. Thank you for watching this experience. Uh, hopefully you were not suffering as much as I was. That's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully it gave you some value if it did. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, colleagues, everyone on LinkedIn. Ha 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 ha. And consider subscribing. I do this every two weeks. There's a bunch of videos that I already did, a bunch of TMS that I already covered, and I still have a lot more to do. I think maybe we're halfway through all the different TMS tools. So if you don't want to miss it out, uh, stay tuned, subscribe, uh, check out the videos in the next two weeks and connect with me on LinkedIn and maybe we can have a chat. Bye-bye.